Hi and welcome to my review for Netflix's original series, Ragnarok. So Ragnarok is a Norwegian original series with a supernatural storyline. The story revolves around the inhabitants of Edda, who are perhaps not at all who they claim to be. With them, we experience a drastically changing world. So there's only six episodes, and I'm quite frustrated that there's only six episodes because at the end of this series, I wanted much more. They're about 45 minutes, sometimes 40 minutes long, and it's very easy to binge. If you know anything about Ragnarok, then you'll know it's meant to be about Norse mythology, about the end of the world, and it revolves around that story, but in a modern, modern telling. So you have these two families, basically, that are kind of warring against each other, but you don't see any of that until within the storyline starts explaining who your protagonist is. You have these newcomers to this town, and something happens to one particular young man, and he starts experiencing things, and we have lots of kind of montages like you would get in Spider-Man, where he wakes up feeling different and he can do different things, and that was a lot of fun to see. <laughs> But where this story really works is where there's this one family that seems to be controlling the town and you get to find out who they are. And at the beginning of each episode, you get the synopsis, well, more like a, a telling of a bit of Norse mythology. And each episode is kind of revolves around that. And so within that episode, you kind of get to find out more about this mythology. And it's a very well intertwined into the storyline. But what works really well is when your main protagonists meet up against the kind of the villains of the series and you get to find out how they've been living and controlling this town for ages. And that is a lot of fun to see as the story uh, re evolves. I like the themes as well that they've put in this. There's a lot of like hero redemption. There's a redemption storyline. There's an anti-hero storyline. It's like one of those classics where uh, the hero doesn't know he's the hero or sometimes doesn't want to become the hero, there's a lot of obviously North mythology um, kind of winking at certain heroes, but don't expect like uh, Avengers or anything like that or, you know, Vikings to be running around. There's a lot of stuff that happens and when you do get, excuse my beard, when you do get a lot of action sequences happen, it's done in a while that makes it realistic for a modern telling, like a modern day living. And I think that works a lot. I really like the characters they've chosen, the actors they've chosen to play certain roles and I do my best not to give anything away. But basically you have the the old gods versus the titans. Um, There's that kind of storyline, but in within a modern setting. It looks fantastic. The setting itself in this Norwegian town is amazing. It looks brilliant. The cinematography and shots that they use really lends itself to the kind of the, the mystical um, mythology of the Norse gods and that kind of thing. It looks beautiful. So the setting is perfect. But then it's also tackling some real subject that we're experiencing today with the polar caps melting and they put that into the story and I think that it, it, it makes it feel a bit more tangible. So where you have a, a fiction element, they've they've grounded it in reality and the story really works. The acting is a lot of fun. Um, I haven't enjoyed this much of a series in a long time because normally I get to the end and I go, I can wait for a year, but it's very rare that I click over to and <laughs> excuse my beard seems to be leaving me <laughs> it's very rarely i click over the episode and immediately want to watch it and just keep going and going and going you do get bingeable series but this is one that i felt like i really want to see it is subtitled and i do suggest watching it in its original language and reading the subtitles just one little clause there though at the beginning of each episode as i'm as i mentioned there's a little kind of synopsis thing the words fly by really quickly so you're going to need to pause and read it and then play because i can't read that quick and I do a lot of reading, so um, yeah, that's just a, hey, heads up, check this out. But for the most part, the subtitles are done really well. I did listen to a bit of dubbing, and that wasn't for me. I like the original. You get a lot of the, you know, I'll say this time and time again, you get the nuances of the acting. And the acting is good. Um, I particularly like the family because they really hold a sense of gravitas when it comes to the villainy of who they are. There's a woman, there's a female lead protagonist here that plays a certain character. Um, and when she has this like kind of tremble in her face, you wonder if she's about to rip somebody's head off. 
Um, and it's that sort of acting, you know, there's the subtle glances and movements in their face that really lend itself to what is happening in the moment. And I think that stems from their their abilities as acting as well as the directing. Because as a whole, this series is very good and I'm really looking forward to the next season. I really hope we get a second season because there is a completion story of sorts, but it feels like there's a massive arc that they're going for. This is, in essence, an origin story. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that next story. I kind of wish we had started at the end of where this one finishes because that's the story I'm really looking forward to. Um, I hope they go a bit more on the uh, mystical side in the next season. But what we got, I really enjoyed. And I think everything works from sound, music, score, editing. It's just a really tight, interesting, fun series. Definitely check this one out. I'm giving it an A, a solid A. Yeah. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this series. What do you think about the Ragnarok? Do you like this? Do you mind reading subtitles? And is there anything else you would like me to review? So from a Viking-esque Ruben, have a great weekend. And remember, live longer Tuesday.